Nice, man. Where'd you get that job? Well, I got a totally worthless degree years and years ago. And I did nothing forever. And my dad got so fed up, he hooked me up with this. I got it pretty sweet, though. Today, I smoked like five joints. I gave out some pieces of paper. And I ate some Burger King. Hey, man, did you try this new chicken fries? <laughs> yeah, man, I'd get on that shit. They're fucking mind-blowing. <laughs> so then I hotboxed my car, oh, and I got some action for my new girl. Did she smoke pot? A little. It's as if she's right out of high school. Oh, that's fucking sweet. Illegal love. You're like Jerry Lee Lewis. I just read his biography. No, no, she's like 21. Oh, still cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Although, I think maybe she's getting mature to where she realizes I don't do that much. And these young guys, they're like roided out and going to Harvard. Even on my best day, I look like a dumb, fat piece of shit next to them. Whatever, man. Sounds like you got it pretty good. I mean, I wish I had a job that easy. Fuck. Dude, you've got, like, the actual easiest job in the world. <laughs> hey, man. You're right. I guess I've never thought of it like that. You get to actually do whatever the hell you want. You get to sleep all day, and people come to buy weed at night. <laughs> yeah, it's totally true. Except for tomorrow, thanks to that... Bitch daylight savings time. I gotta go change my grandma's clocks for to 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. I seriously can't figure it out. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Yo, so like, what have these people done that you go after? Well, let's see. Tonight, I'm going after Ted Jones. He forgot to- Dude, my face. guy read gets his weed from a Ted Jones. He's like number one supplier in town. Maybe it's him. I doubt that, man. There's probably a lot of Ted Joneses out there. Yeah, not like this one, man. He's like what I want to be one day. He's like the Jesus of weed. So I guess he's like Jaw or Scarface. <laughs> well, Saul, that was crazy. Thanks, man. No worries, dude. Peace. That scene. Oh, that was really funny, you guys. I loved it. <clears throat> you guys picked great scenes. Thanks. It was really good. Really funny. I, I, I really liked it. You guys are totally, for a, for a first read, I think you're totally on the right track. Um, uh, you know, I think for a first time, so I'm, I'm shaking your hand. It was great. Really good. Oh, thanks, um, but I But I think... <clears throat> I'm shaking your hand and saying, I really like what you did. I'd like, I'd like to call you back. Okay. So I'm giving you a call back in a sense, and I'm going to give you some notes and see what you guys do with them. So, but for a first read, coming up with this stuff on your own, the way you're playing it, I thought you did terrific. And I feel like the, the work that you did on, on your other scene helped you, uh, yeah. both of you, to play these kinds of roles, which is exactly what I was hoping would happen. So that when you get auditions for roles like these, you're gonna just sink right in. Um, <clears throat> so I think, um, Ethan, you know, you have this natural tendency to smile. Um, is that kind of like a thing? Um, I mean, it's very charming. It, it's, it's charming, but I think for a character like this, sometimes it works, but I think sometimes it's funnier if you take things really seriously. Okay. that aren't serious but like like the jesus of weed yeah okay jaw you know and i see you kind of going j o w jaw or scarface so it's it's funnier if you're serious when you say it instead of smiling because it is kind of funny line and if you play it light it's not as funny got it does that make sense yeah so when you have lines that are written, you know, funny lines, frequently you're going to find yourself playing them deadly serious. Like, like you're talking about the, I don't know, you, you figured out a cure for cancer. But 
you know, like when, you know, like when you're talking about, you know, fuck, I gotta, I gotta go to my grandma's house and change the clocks. Yeah. Like the more serious you make that, like I've, I've got to go, I don't know, fucking deal with it, the immigration laws, you know, talk about it. Like you're talking about something serious like that, but you're, you're changing a clock at your grandma's house. Okay. Well, I, again, I think that you can smile in certain areas of the scene, but I'd like you to explore being extremely passionate about things that are totally stupid. Okay. What's with the soup? Like, you really want to know. You know what I mean? Instead of it being like a funny question, what would happen if you played it like, what do people like him do for a living who have to wear a tie? Yeah. Like, I really want to know. Like, I'm studying this like a scientist. Does that make sense? Yeah. Don't be afraid to be animated. Don't be afraid to have your mind blown and do this kind of shit in the scene. Fuck! Oh, my God. You know, don't, one of the comedic principles is being funny to look at. So you want to give us a funny picture. So this is a farce. So you're dealing with broad comedies, very heightened characters and heightened comedic situations. The goal is to get big laughs. So, you know, you have the, you know, you're the funny man primarily in this scene. There are some moments, Tim, that you're the funny guy as well, and you're going to react to it. But primarily, Ethan, you would be considered the guy throwing the pies, being the funnier of the two, and Tim is reacting. So if you are that guy, you have the freedom and the responsibility to do funny looking things. Because you can't have two straight men in a scene, and you can't have two funny men in a scene. If suddenly, Tim, you become the funny man in the scene, Tim, you've got to, excuse me, Ethan, you've got to make sure that you don't be funny when he's doing that. And just let the pie land on your face. Like, I don't know, Tim, there's a couple of lines in here that you say are pretty funny. What, what, what is one of them? Feelers like, you know, no way you're Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> yeah, so like on that one, you're actually yeah. still the straight man. Yeah. Because he's the one saying the wacky thing. You know, yeah, yeah. you are kind of saying something funny, but we know that he's going to be saying Jerry Lee Lewis, you know, illegal love or whatever you say, Ethan, you know, and, and, and that's the funny moment that you're going to be reacting to. Like, what is he thinking? No, no, she's 21. She's 21. You know, I don't want to fucking, you call him a, I don't want people thinking I'm like fucking raping young women. Like, that's not funny to me. You know, like if he's saying you're involved in illegal love and that's cool, doesn't that gross you out a little bit? Yeah. Let, let's see that. So I, I would I would approach this. I like I like your your character's take, Tim, the way you're playing him. I'd like you to explore also. Just try it because I, I do like what you're doing. And in the scene, you did get a little animated in certain areas, yeah. which is fine with me. But I'd like you to also explore being somebody who's much more of an um, an introvert. Mm. You know, because usually in comedic scenes, you're trying to have two characters that are polar opposites. Now, in this mm -hmm. scene, it might be an exception because there were a lot of moments where you were like wide-eyed and weird. And it was kind mm -hmm. of like you were a total fuck up in your own way. But like, you, you almost look like a heroin addict. You know, the way you were talking to him, just kind of like, you know, amped or a cokehead. You know, you just looked wide-eyed and bloodshot. And so that was funny in and, own, in, in and of it, it, itself. But I'm saying it might be interesting if you keep that same energy and be a guy who's not comfortable expressing himself. Mm. And, because it's so different from Ethan and it might work well because you guys are going to be so different from each other. You know, when he says illegal love, just... No, she's 21. Hmm. And what the Okay. What the fuck? And then he then then he has that moment, Ethan, where you go, oh man. And you could have a moment, Tim, like, what do you mean, oh man? What the fuck is wrong with you? Mm. 
you're our straight man. You represent, in a sense, you represent the audience when you're the straight man. The audience is looking through the scene through your eyes at the scene. So that's why it's important that you kind of keep that vibe there. Um, and like, I just got to ask, what's with the suit? <laughs> I'm a process server. You're a servant? The butler? <laughs> no. Process server. I'm hired to give people papers they don't want. It's pretty much the easiest job in the world. Nice, man. Which <laughs> well, I got a totally worthless degree years ago. Then I did nothing forever. Then my dad got so fed up, he hooked me up with this. I got it pretty sweet, though. Today, I smoked like five joints. I gave out some pieces of paper, and I ate some Burger King. Hey, man. You try those new chicken fries? Yeah, man. I'd get on that shit. They're fucking mind-blowing. <laughs> so, and I hotboxed my car, and I got some action for my new girl. She's not hot? A little. It's like she's basically right out of high school. Oh, that's fucking sweet. Illegal love. You're like Jerry Lee Lewis. I just read his biography. No, no, man. She's like 21. Oh. oh. That's still cool, I guess. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Although, I think maybe she's mature to where she realizes I don't do that much. And these young guys are all roided out and going to Harvard. Even on my best day, I look like a fat, dumb piece of shit next to them. Whatever, man. It sounds like you got it pretty good. I mean, I wish I had a job that easy. Fuck. Dude, you've got like the actual easiest job in the world. Hey, man. You're right. Guess I've never thought of it like that. You can actually do whatever the hell you want. You get to sleep all day, and people come to buy weed at night. Totally true. Except for tomorrow. Thanks to that bitch daylight savings time, I gotta go switch my grandma's clocks forward to 7 a.m. Or 8 a.m. I seriously can't figure it out. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Yo, so like, what have these people done that you go after? <sighs> Well, let's see. Tonight, I'm going after Ted Jones. He forgot to pay his- Dude, my guy Red gets his weed from a Ted Jones. He's like number one supplier in town. Maybe it's him. I doubt that, man. There's probably a lot of Ted Jones out there. No, not like this one, man. He's what I want to be one day. He's like- the Jesus of weed. So I guess he's like, Jaw or Scarface. Well, Saul, this was crazy. Thanks, man. No worries, dude. Peace. Let's see. <laughs> The scene. I just loved it, you guys. That was so awesome. That was the best scene you guys have both done.